Good morning, everyone. It's Monday, October 2nd, and it's the start of a new vlog. So, if you guys have been following, you know exactly what I'm doing right now. If not, here's a recap. On last week's Super Del Sol vlog, this is what happened. Okay, I'm too lazy to put a clip. But anyway, <laughs> for those watch that were watching, um... I checked my HIDs and I was wondering why they weren't working and whatever and um, I had a huge brain fart I was saying voltage was good which anyway it was so it wasn't a voltage well <laughs> it wasn't a low voltage issue for the HID so uh, anyway here it is my voltage regulator went kaput in the alternator so this is what's going on Four hundred bucks later, I get an alternator. I get a truck, and I get to replace it. So, um, good way to start a Monday, I guess. But uh, you know, I'm glad at least they had it in stock because I didn't want to. Well, it's still nice enough for the Del Sol to drive, but uh, yeah, now I'm having light issues with the Del Sol. So I might have the same issue with the Del Sol. Who knows? I haven't looked at that yet. I'm just like. Lucky as hell lately. So, um, let's get some fun and, um, yeah, let's get some fun. I know, I can't. I only had one coffee. Let's have some fun and change this alternator. And, uh, I'm gonna have to find my little step stool because I'm short and I gotta go over the hood and, yeah. So, um, let's get this started. Alright, I'm not as short as I thought or whatever. It's not as low as I first thought or whatever. So, I don't need the stool, but anyway. Uh, light and there we go it's right there um as i say in the other one it's it is it is a champion so it's already been replaced for some odd reason whatever but should be a quick install a couple of bolts that hold in place because i don't have to adjust it or anything because it's a serpentine belt and there's a manual or automatic adjuster whatever and uh things like that so um yeah i want to get this started i want to get this done so uh yeah I'm not going to go through the process, it's not a how-to, whatever, even though there's not a lot of them online, but anyway, I don't care, I just need to get this done, so I'll probably at least show you when it's out and ready to put the other one on. Well, I almost forgot about you guys. There's the two of them. There's the old one, there's the new one, and um, there's the dark engine bay. The only thing is, is like there's kind of like a metal spacer there that sticks out. you got to push that in be able to get the alternator back in like a little bit easier and that's being like the hardest part right now because it's in a weird location you know and whatever so that's what i'm doing hey good day it's tuesday uh i meant to do this yesterday but forgot the camera and things like that whatever but anyway oh. i don't know if you guys can tell here's the old camera or old camera jeez this is the old alternator new one's in there Check this out. Well, it's going up slower than yesterday, but yesterday I was at 18 volts again, so... Yeah. Alright, well, anyway, yeah, there you go, it's rising fast. So, I gotta bring them back. Anyway, time to get to work. Well, it's me again. Still Tuesday. Um, after a few fitment problems, got the new, new alternator in. And now it's like skyrocketing to over 20 volts. So, <laughs> called the place I got the part. They're ordering me another one. So, hopefully third time's a charm. If not, um, yeah, I don't know. I even plugged in my uh, scan tool. Um, it's more than just a basic one. Anyway, might as well since I'm here the uh, launch whatever reader whatever professional CRP 129 hey there I am so I mean I can go in and check out the live data stream and whatever and it says the alternator is fine it says the volts are like 3.8 things like that so you know I'm starting to you know 
overthink it and maybe worry that maybe the computer's bad or whatever. So, I don't know. I'm just, yeah, I'm at a loss right now, you know. So, trying to get a hold of, like, some mechanics I might know or try to get someone to, you know, so I don't have to bring it in for a service thing and then tell me, oh, yeah, this is, you know, and then scam me out of a computer or something or who knows or yeah yeah what can I say I feel kind of shitty right now but... alright well that's the problem I gotta get ready for work so uh... yeah we'll see what I guess <laughs> tomorrow's alternator brings alright well it's now Thursday and it's time for a coffee and an update. Still freaking hot. Okay, I guess I'll give the update, that'll give it time to cool off. So here's the uh, Ridgeline update. I got some good news and some bad news. Good news is um, everything's fixed. Um, I got really pissed off Wednesday, so I really didn't feel like posting anything or whatever. Um, as my luck would have it, um, anyway, what was it, uh, Tuesday, I'd put in the second new alternator in, and I was getting the same readings, so, you know, the, the, the park place had already ordered another one for me and things like that, and I don't know why, I don't know what got into me to think this or whatever, but because my OBD2 tester and my, um, like battery tester and everything you know things were saying where it's kind of okay and things like that well I decided to test my multimeter so I have my 12 volt power source that I know is 12 volts and doesn't fluctuate decided to put that on my multimeter well guess what that read like 17 point something volts and was climbing so I'm like, all right, I'm pretty sure my multimeter's gone. So uh, I had another one, a backup one that I brought to work. So I drove to work, grabbed it, tested it first on my power source, and it was 12 volts. Then went to the truck, started it, and it was at a nice 14, you know, something volts, which is perfectly normal when charging. Um, so yeah, because of my multimeter screwing up. I bought an alternator for nothing so um, wasn't able to well I wasn't able to, to go and return it and what they were willing to do is give me my core back at least so then I would have had you know two good alternators I guess at least but it had already been sent out so didn't have that so uh, yeah so um, at least I know that I don't have a voltage issue with the truck so Later on that day, I called uh, the retrofit source and told my told them my problem with the ballast and things like that. So they're sending me a uh, free ballast uh, under warranty. So I'll be here in a week or a week and a half. So yeah, yeah. So if I was never to change my headlights, none of this would have happened because I never would have had to check, you know. But I mean, it's not that. It's just. It just freaking sucks, like really. So I mean, at least I know there's nothing wrong or majorly wrong with the truck. It sucks I have to change two alternators and spend 400 bucks for nothing. But whatever. So like I said, I got a ballast coming, so that should fix my HID issue. So whatever. Um, yeah. Other than that, well, I haven't been sleeping well because of all that stress of the alternator and now buying an alternator for nothing. I know, at least I got a new alternator and I know it should last. So, whatever. So then today, well, um, all I did this morning was uh, I had done a batch of beer for my dad. So, bottled that, went over and delivered it. Had brunch. And now well, I'm at work. So, I think that's it. Except that my cat's now... You know, seems to be she's having like whatever intestinal issues or whatever. So hopefully it's just temporary or whatever. But who knows? I might mean a vet visit and all that. And yay, I'm ready for some good news soon. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, that's basically it. Twenty thirty dollar multimeter. So I don't know. I'm thinking of buying a good one since I'm always doing electrical stuff, but I don't know. So well, it kind of sucks, but at least there's no major problem with the truck. So not that there was in the first place, <laughs> except for the HID. All right, I'm just mumbling on. Uh, so that's it for today. Uh, I'm pretty sure because I'm at work, so. I don't know if I have anything planned for tomorrow. I seriously doubt it. But anyway, uh, I'll see you at the next update, which will be like right now. Well, nothing much else is really going on this week. So uh, time to close up this vlog. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next week.